Time to welcome a guest. Who is it? Clinton Portis. Why are we talking to Clinton Portis? Why wouldn't you talk to Clinton Portis? He's an engaging personality, no longer in football, was fun when he was there. Let's talk to him and learn some more about Clinton. For you, what was the favorite character that you created midweek to do press conferences? Your favorite character was blank. Dollar Bill, you know, Dollar Bill. All the characters were, were hilarious, you know, depending on what time uh, you catch me. All the characters was just natural, put together on Thursday morning, uh, no preparation, no pregame, just here go the name that we think of, here go the costume, and let's go. And, you know, a lot of my teammates got involved, and uh, every week it got better. Can I talk to Dollar Bill? Is he there? <laughs> or do you need the costume? Do you need the costume to be in character? Hey, I could I could flip into character at any at any moment. So you could talk to whoever you want to talk to. We can come up, you know, janky spanky, uh, reverend gonna change it. Don't matter, you know, whatever. I can flip into character and it's on and popping. All right, I'd like to talk to Dollar Bill if I could, and I'd like to ask Dollar Bill a question about Clinton Portis. Can I do that? Go right ahead. All right, Dollar Bill, is it true that Clinton Portis had a stripper pole in his bedroom of his house? Is that true, Dollar Bill? That was something I paid for with a little change out of my pocket, in my own pocket, you see. So uh, at any time, it's no telling what you can find in the house of Clinton Portis. So it is true. <laughs> 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 and it was true, correct? It was true. You had an actual stripper pole in the bedroom. Yeah. No, it wasn't in the bedroom. It was in the basement. Uh, it wasn't in my bedroom. My bedroom was, uh, you know, for relaxing. Uh, it was in the basement. It was just a form of entertainment for friends that came over. And the crazy thing is I never even used the pole. I can't imagine coaches really liking or encouraging that, Clinton. I can't imagine one of your head coaches bringing you a wig and saying, I'd like to see the Reverend this week, or I'd like to see Dollar Bill. Well, the crazy thing is, uh, Coach Greg Williams, uh, Coach Gibbs, they used to be standing right there while I was doing the press conference laughing. So uh, I, didn't, I don't think it was anything wrong with it, with them standing there. You know, Greg Williams was standing to the side of almost all of them. Like, who are you going to be? Like, what, what messed up personality they are you today? Like, let's show the world how, how screwed up you really are. So uh, it was a fun thing. You know, I think for us and at the time that it happened, uh, for us to go on a seven-game winning streak in the midst brought a lot of attention to it as well. Put the viewer next to you. You got game 16. You've just played uh, the Steelers or the Ravens. You played one of those, the Giants. You played one of those tough defensive teams. Game 16, you get up on Monday morning, and what's it look like? I don't even know how to tell you. Look, you don't want to open your eyes. That's first off. You feel you just feel rough. You feel so beat up, and you better hope you won. That way you can turn on the TV and pay attention. How would you describe your childhood to a stranger, Clinton? My childhood to a stranger. You know, I, I, I think I came... Uh, from a situation nobody would ever imagine me coming out of. You know, being from Laurel, Mississippi, you don't know any other players. You know, the, the only thing we had, Antonio McDice was from Quitman, Mississippi, which uh, wasn't far away. You know, Brett Favre played at the University of Southern Miss, which was 20 minutes away. Steve McNair, Jason Campbell, uh, myself and Jason Campbell was born in the same hospital. Um, but other than that, it's, it's not a lot to come out of Laurel, Mississippi. And uh, to come from the background that I came from where the best job you can have is, is working at the poultry or uh, working at Masonite or, or one of those lumber units and to become a success story and, uh, or anything else, what I brought to the game to bring that from Laurel, Mississippi, I think was a great accomplishment. Did you think that you were going to go into a career of lumber or did you know for sure you were going to get out of there? I knew I was getting out of there. It was it was no chance and it was no chance at all that I would be working. I never seen myself working um, in that field. My father has a question for you, Clinton. Go ahead, Poppy. Tell me about the first time you fell in love. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the first time I fell in love. Uh, I don't think it was love, you know. Uh, I don't even know how to answer that. So I don't I don't know if it was love. I think it was lust. I was lusting because uh, as soon as I got to college, it was quickly over. I think I, I really fell in love for the first time 
uh, when I got to college to a great woman and uh, it was a wonderful feeling. You know, I, I think you really realize when you're in love how good it feel and um, you know, when you're young, you don't want to think like I'm in love and this is the last woman that I ever be with. But uh, I think you know at that time. Clinton, he totally caught you off guard. He hey, caught he you did. off guard. Hey, he did. And not only did he catch you off guard, you were thinking, you weren't thinking about love. <laughs> you were thinking about the first time you got like some excitement going on. You weren't hey, thinking about love. I almost answered for the first time I had some excitement going on. <laughs> <laughs> I think that story would have been more interesting. You got hey. all syrupy and romantic on us. Hey. I think the story might have been more interesting the other way. Well, if he would have asked about the excitement, I would have told him the first the first time I had that excitement going on, I knew ask then now, I was Bobby. addicted. Ask, ask it now, Bobby. Ask it now. Tell me about the first time you fell in love. No, tell me about the first time you were excited about a woman. Hey. Fell in lust. Fell in hey. lust. The first time I was excited about a woman, I knew right then I had a, a, a serious addiction. So uh, <laughs> it was going to be hard. It, it was going to be hard to change that from that point on. Clinton, thank you for being on with us. Thank you. No problem. Thanks Thank for having me. When was the first time you fell in lust, Poppy? Fell in lust? Yes. So many years ago, like a century and a half ago. <laughs> that was, uh, it's been so many, long time ago. <laughs> so many hundreds of years since he felt that feeling. <laughs> Parts of his body don't even work anymore. Well, what? Don't, don't, you don't have to get that specific. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, do you question?